Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're absolutely wonderful. This is Judgy from Mutinous Gamers and I'm doing a tutorial on how to install 64-bit Java for the Mac. Now this will actually help your Minecraft run faster and it will run smoother and it will be a lot more beautiful and wonderful and you can finally use far render distance without that stupid little text coming up at the bottom. So, first off, you want to see whether your Mac is 64-bit compatible. So to do this, you want to go to your little Apple icon up here go down to about this Mac and BAM you'll see this thing that says processor and it'll have the uh, specs on here now what I'm going to do is in three seconds I'm going to uh, bring up a little screenshot showing you whether yours will be 64 bit now mine's Intel Core 2 Duo wait actually actually BAM there we go so mine's uh, Intel Core 2 Duo which is compatible with 64 bit as you'll see from the little screenshot if it's if your uh, Mac is only 32 bit compatible then you can't do this I'm afraid I'm very sorry and you also want to make a note of what your memory is so mine's 4 gigabytes okay so now that you know whether your uh, Mac is 64 bit compatible or not you can continue if it's not compatible then just don't uh, don't bother carrying on because you won't be able to get it and I'm very sorry okay so boom, there we go now, what you want to do is you want to locate your Minecraft folder. Well, actually, what we'll do, yeah, what we'll do is you'll uh, head on into the description, click the link, and then you'll be brought to this page here. Now, this is all of your different types of RAM. So, my Mac is a 4 gigabyte of RAM. Uh, if yours is 8 gigabyte or 2 gigabyte, you want to download accordingly. So, what this is going to do is this is how much RAM is going into Minecraft for your computer. So, I'm going to put in... I'll put in 4 gigs, there we go, so you want to download this, to do it you just click it, click that, and then you'll be brought to this page here, and you just click download, and then you'll get it. Now because I've already downloaded it, I'm going to go and locate it, which is here, this is mine here, 4 gigabyte of RAM, I've got all of them because I obviously made them, but this one's mine here, and what you want to do, you want to unzip it, and to do this you just double click, and then you'll get something called info.peerlist. Now, 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 this is where you need to follow carefully. What you want to do now is open a new finder window, like so, and you want to locate where your Minecraft app is. Now, uh, most of you will know where it is, it'll be on applications, then it'll be in here somewhere, but I've obviously arranged all mine. Uh, but if you're having struggle, if you're struggling to find it, just go into your little search bar, type in minecraft.app, and then you'll get the Minecraft app here. You want to right click it open and closing folder and closed folder and then you'll get where your Minecraft app is so mine's here okay so when you've got this you want to right click it show package contents and then you'll get this screen up here now you need to follow this very carefully because you might get a bit confused now what you unzipped earlier so I unzipped 4 gigabyte RAM because that's what my Mac is you'll get a, you'll get your little info.peer list and you want to follow your contents through and you'll see a file here called info.plist. Now you want to drag this over here, click replace, and there you go. Now you've got your zipped info.plist down here. Now there's one last step you need to do, which is to get your Java application stub. Now yours might look slightly different because I've, always, I've obviously already done mine, so yours might look slightly different. If it does, don't worry about it. So to locate this, you want to go to Macintosh HD or whatever your device is, go to System, Library, Frameworks, and you want to scroll down to Java, Java VM here, hope you guys are still following, <laughs> then you want to go to Resources, scroll down to Mac OS, and then you'll have Java application stub here. So you want to copy this, so right click, copy, come over here, and um, uh, delete this one here, and then paste your new one in. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And you are now set to go on Minecraft without the hassle of having that stupid little red writing which just irritates everyone, for obvious reasons, it's just really irritating and rah. So if we load up Minecraft, I'll just show you that it does work. Options video sayings and you shouldn't have it there anymore when you go on to far end of distance so hopefully this helps you guys if it did please be sure to let me know if you're having trouble with it um, 
I will try best I can, but I've tried to clarify everything I can in this. Um, if you're having trouble unzipping that file, then you want to download something called 7-zip or something like that uh, to help you unzip the file. I'm not sure if you can get that from Mac, actually. You should be able to, um, to unzip something. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I love you all to pieces. This has been Just for Minutes Gamers, and I love you all. I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks a lot for watching.